Hi, God. Thank you so much for bringing us together. Thank you that we finally made it. Thank you for getting us to today. It's been an amazing journey, and I'm so blessed that you have brought Kristen into my life. I don't know what I'd do without her, and I'm so happy to be able to spend the rest of my life with her. Thank you for blessing us so abundantly with each other. And we ask that you please take this marriage that we are building today and build it on a solid foundation so that no matter what comes, we will always brave the storms together and be a team. I pray that today goes smoothly, but help us to remember that at the end of the day we'll be married, and that's all that matters. We met at church, and we both love to sing. I wanted to go to the tabernacle one day to pray, and I just kept on thinking about her the whole entire time. And so I was journaling about her, and what happened was while I was journaling about her, Kristen walks in as I'm writing down about her and how I want to ask her out. <laughs> So every day after that, I kept on going back to the tabernacle to pray. She already had a plan to do that as well. So we kept on doing that every Monday ever since. The concept that a husband and a wife join together and somehow become one it's something that God does, it's very magical, it's very mystical, frankly, it's miraculous. And how he does that, and how he goes about it, I might not fully understand it, but we know because of our faith that he wants to bless that what He wants to bless the two of you, he wants to bless your union, but you have to ask for it, and you have to bring him into your marriage. So do both of those, and your wedding will be long. Let me introduce you to Kristen's maid of honor, me, <laughs> Katie Collins, maid of honor, third class, honorary member of the Brother-in-Law Defense League, and five times winner of Witch Weekly's Best Big Sister Award. I didn't have to meet him and I knew he was the one. In fact, more the lemur from Madagascar said it best. I like them, I like them, I like them before I even met them, I like them. I saw them and I liked them right away. You hate them compared to how much I like them. <laughs> so then I made sure to make it clear to my dad that he was not allowed to mess this up and was not allowed to scare this boy away. <laughs> The second time that I met Kristen, um, Alex being the awesome wingman he is said, so uh, Kristen and I and five other girls are going to Cedar Point, you want to go with us? <laughs> I said, yes sir! <laughs> so, so we go to Cedar Point and uh, we're, we're about halfway through the day and the sky's open and it is torrential rain. We're all running towards the lockers trying to make sure that we get out of the rain and, and Alex and Kristen being the couple they are, they decide they're gonna go dance in the rain. And Alex and Kristen go out and he's twirling her and dancing and all this stuff. And even though it was the second time I met Kristen, I said, there's no other person in the world that would do that with Alex. 